Hello everyone, this is my latest portal effect. Basically, it involves distorting the vertices of the meshes that are close to the vector. A very similar version of the shader is applied to each of the objects. This node manager controls the physics of all the objects and also the configuration of the shaders. Here you can see the distortion of the character vertices using simplex 3D noise. And here is the node manager and I can change some parameters like the base force and the max force that depends on a curve. Some objects require more force to be applied. And this is the script of the node manager. It has many exports as parameters. And here I iterate over the children that are rigid bodies and also over the properties of the shaders. And here is the calculation of the force of the read bodies. And it depends on a curve, as I said before. I am using the maximum force of the curve, in addition to a constant force, which I call the base force. Here is the curve that controls the force. The greater the distance, the less force is applied. This is the minimum distance from the portal. The maximum force is a multiplication factor of the curve, since its output value is from 0 to 1 and the base force I mentioned. Here are several properties of the deformation shader, such as noise force, speed, and so on, and the minimum distance for the character to be absorbed by the portal. This is the character deformation shader. It uses a time variable, simplex noise, and it uses a curve quite similar to the rigid body curve. And the fragment section is just a copy of the Godot's default shader. Now, here are all the rigid body objects that are all affected by the script manager. But the problem is that all of them have different map configurations and I didn't want to have to rewrite all the shaders again. It's a very tedious process. So I use it, uh, I include file. As I mentioned earlier, it has the vertex deformation code that is common to all the objects. And I use a control variable so that the Godot UI uh, doesn't send annoying errors. Now here is some code for the iteration over the read body objects so I can modify uh, the properties of the read body and also the properties of the shaders. Here is some code for the shader and for the physics. And also I made a custom shader for the particles. So it just iterates over a flipbook image so I can have different particles each time. And here is the code that can iterate over the flipbook using the instance ID of the particle. And the code for the portal, that is very interesting for me because it has uh, so many use cases. This is the billboard effect. And I use two samples of the same noise so I can hide the seam of the texture. As you can see here. And I can modify the colors and many parameters. Yeah, for example, the angular repeats the speed of the effect and the noise strength, for example. And yeah, I, I really like it. And this is the end.